All right, guys, I'm on vacation, so I'm gonna try and knock out a few toy reviews. Um, now, these might be interrupted a little bit because being on vacation, I do have the wife home and the son home. Well, they get to be home, but anyway. Um, so we're gonna do kick off with the Mosco 112, the Crow figure. Uh, if you know the movie, you know the movie. Man, I hope I'm talking loud enough because I tried it earlier and it goes. Now this is a figure I've been waiting for to come out for quite a long time and uh, has lots of memories uh, from childhood, Brandon, well not childhood, young adulthood. Uh, Brandon Lee was one of my favorite actors. Uh, I watched all his movies and then when I found out he was doing The Crow, I got super, super excited because like he fit the physique already of James Odell's version of The Crow, which is just amazing. Right now, I'm just pulling all the stuff out that's all the extras. I'm not gonna put them out, put them in hands. Just gonna show you what it is. Comes with the big flame crow effect. Okay, well, apparently I'm gonna pull some of them out. Uh, comes with the revolver he has. Hand pistol, two clips, shotgun, lighter, knife, 1010. Ah, oh, poor 1010. Oh, there's the shotgun and the pistol. Comes with the white cat, a crow with wings closed, and a crow with wings open. Guess the weapons will stay there. Or those. Oh, shit. That's awesome. And underneath, damn it, okay. Underneath it all is his actual tombstone. Since everything else wanted to fly out, I'll just go ahead and... That's really cool, the tombstone. Leave that right there. Set this, so I just setting this in my kitchen. You know, I think my wife is right. We do need to get a kitchen table back, mainly so I can go back to doing my core reviews from that area. Here's the necklace, actually is on a wire, not a rope, which is cool. It's the mask from the movie. Oh, it has nothing. Final fight scene on the rooftop. That ninja sword. Don't even think it's been done before. I'll have to go through and check all my Mesco Ninja weapons that I have. And then the guitar, which probably will never be posed with him. I will find a way to hang that up. Oh, geez, just popped the thing off. There we go. And then before we pull the figure out. This is hands, open splayed hands. The shh, before he flies out the window hand. So actually, can you actually see through it? Sweet. Pull it whole through the hand hand. You can actually see through it, which is really cool. Uh, two trigger fingers. that epic battle scene at the end and of course last two fingers are going to be sword wielding hands or last two fingers last two hands are going to be sword wielding then you got all his head sculpts four of them they just look amazing it's probably right there is the one i'm gonna uh, pose with hey buddy you got your crayons it's gonna be the one I'm gonna pose with. Them. What? Yeah, okay, thank you. Uh, it's probably gonna be, like I was trying to say, the one I posed with the head on. Uh, in case if you've never watched any of my videos, I do brawl. No, sir, no, sir, no, sir, no, sir, no. No, no, I'm, I'm working on getting this open, buddy. Here, here, have this box. 
Stinky. There you go. How that box? She just dropped in the video. That's okay. Um, actually, or maybe this one. They did such a great job making them look just like Brandon Lee. Uh, and that was real important. Um, if I do ever have them with a guitar, it'll probably be that one right there. That one's really actually cool too. Man, they did such a great job. Um, the heads don't have new toy smell. I hope the body does. And here we are. Oh yeah. And it's not so much the leather smell from the jacket or pleather smell from the jacket. Really cool. Man, they did a great job. So much better than I was expecting. And I'm gonna go straight to taking the jacket off. Oh, and he comes with two closed fists. Hold on, buddy. No, sir. No, sir. Let me get the jacket off real quick. I'm gonna go over to articulation and some size comparisons, and then I'll draw it to an end. Just put the fist back on. Might take the fist back off and put different hands on before I'm done with it though. So here he is without perfect body for him. On mine doesn't have the, uh, a lot of toy reviewers had uh, on the skin part, had rub off from the jacket, like some of the G.I. Joe Mesco fig or G.I. Joe classified Dr. Mindbender figures were getting. It's still got pretty good articulation. I really like how they did the boots and how the pants go into the boots because you still have that ankle articulation there. And I think that's it. I don't think there's any other articulation in the feet, but it doesn't keep them from being able to be posed. Yeah, they put it all down there. That's really cool. So, arms got real good articulation. I think you can go. Hold on, buddy. I'm almost done. But yeah, it's so excited about this figure. I know I've just really pausing a lot. Stinky, stop. Nothing up here you can play with, buddy. So, there we go. Like that. Man, the sculpt is great. It's just another great Mezco figure. And in case anyone's wondering what I mean by Stinky, this is my son, Liam, who uh, is not napping right now, so Daddy's trying to knock on. Yeah, say hi. No, I'm not going to go get you candy. No, sir. You can wait till after the review, okay? Thank you. Or go ask Mama. Go ask Mama. <laughs> well, baby, can you go get him a piece of candy so I can finish this? Hold on, buddy. Baby. <laughs> Mama's gonna get you candy, okay? Sit down. Sit down. Okay. So I really like the, my wife's crawling real low behind so she doesn't get caught on camera. Oh, wow, the jacket even has some cuts and tears in it. Or at least that's the only one. I wonder if that's meant to be there. Pretty sure it is. And now she's trying to bribe him after dad said he could just have it, so we leave dad alone. All right, so man, I'm super stoked about this. A lot of people thought, oh my God, it was gonna come on. I think they said the Joker body. Um, I thought it was gonna come like the Daredevil and uh, Punisher, Netflix Punisher came with, but it did not. So, oh, hold on, probably should not keep it posed up like that. All right, now we're gonna pull out some Mezco figures and do some size comparisons. Here's a custom Punisher that goes my wife. Ah, oh, saw part of you. Here is the custom, don't fall. Snake eyes, this is done off the blade body. As you can see, he'll go really well with them and everything. I'm not gonna try and set them back up, just gonna set them down. 
Here is well, everybody's falling down. I'm reaching the 10 minute mark. I'm gonna try and hurry up. I got a few others to do today. A few I've done the Chris Hemsworth figures. This was actually the Daredevil body. Um, this is my custom Highlander. If uh, Chris Hemsworth uh, actually ever did the Highlander reboot or anything like that. Set you over here. All right. And then this would be a good fight for those people that do those uh, comic book brawls and stuff like that. John Wick versus the Crow. And then you've got uh, another one that they thought the body would be just like. This is Black Mask. One of my few villains and everything else. But as you can see, these all fit the same motif and physique. No, sir. No, sir. Not right now. Thank you, buddy. It's affecting No. No, no. No, sir. No, you can't have those yet. Leave them alone. Here, go get mama. Go say thank you, mama. Um, and I've got this kit bash. And this one. And this is the Thor Mesco 112 body, so you can see the, the compare to actual Thor uh, figure. But I don't really have any of them that I left as Thor. As you can tell. And we got the Netflix Punisher. It was, I think, probably my favorite version of the Punisher figures and stuff like that. And then we've got Old Man Batman. I don't have the head to show you what I mean by that. And then we have the last size comparison. And I'm only doing him up against Mezco figures. As two of my favorites from back in the day. Conan and the Crow. And here is, if you do have any of the uh, Zespray Studios figures. Here's a Zespray Studio Conan I, I custom loved. And you know what? I'm gonna end it with all the accessories and the, just the the buck and all the, the heads and everything. This is just an awesome figure. I really didn't even go into detail like how close to the costume towards the end is. This is actually not sculpt. Those are actual strings that they move around. Same with on the leg. Oops. Same with on the leg. Actually, it looks like you can make them in whatever pose you want and everything else. I just think that's really, really cool. So the detail on the boots is just amazing. Look at that ankle break. Yeah, I'm gonna have lots of fun. This might actually get me back into putting some pictures on my Instagram and everything and stuff. Oh my God. I don't even know where I'm gonna pose him. He just, so many perfect just, easy to do like random poses. All right, I'm, I'm gonna stop gushing. I'll talk to y'all later.